Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain the Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection Tool, and how to use it. Initially, Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection, is a tool that allows you to connect to any computer remotely, whether this computer is connected to a local network, or to a public network such as the internet. This tool allows you to access everything from afar, you can remotely access multiple computers over the same network, whether you are located elsewhere in your home or in the office. Have you ever thought about accessing your computer remotely, and controlling it? Yes, you can access and control it through Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection. Remote Desktop Connection is built into Windows and also exists as an app in the Microsoft Store. If you want to access and control a PC from a non-Windows device, the app is available for Mac, iOS, and Android. Keep in mind that Remote Desktop Protocol that allows connection to a device is only available on Windows 10 Pro, and Windows 10 Home does not allow remote connections. The first step is how to configure the remote desktop settings for the computer you want to access. And you must be physically logged into the computer that you want to access remotely to make the necessary settings for it. Open the settings from the start menu. From Settings, click System. From the left menu, click on the Desktop Remote. Turn on the switch next to Enable Remote Desktop. Then click Confirm to enable the setting. By default, the options to keep your PC awake for connections when plugged in, and make your PC discoverable on private networks are both enabled, leave the two options as they are. Then, click the Advanced Settings link. Make sure this option is checked, require computers to use Network Level Authentication NLA, to connect. NLA adds tighter security for remote connections over the same network. Click the back arrow to return to the previous screen. Scroll down and under Users Account, click on Select Users that can remotely access this PC, through it we will allow any user who has an administrative account on the remote computer, to access it. Click on Add. Click on Advanced, then click on Find Now. Select the administrator account. Then press the OK button, then OK, then OK. Make a note of the name of this computer, as you will need it to log in remotely. Now configure this computer to enter it from afar. The last thing we will do is know the IP address of this computer, because when we connect, we will need the name of the computer, or the IP address of this computer. The steps for finding an IP address for a computer are very easy, remember the IP address well, because of course we will need it later when connecting. Then, we will work on another computer, and try to connect to the computer that we configured to connect. First, we will launch the Remote Desktop Connection tool in Windows 10. We will type in the search, Remote Desktop Connection, and then click on it. After opening the tool, in this box we will write the name of the computer you want to access, or the IP address of the computer we want to connect to. After typing the computer name or IP address, press the Connect button, whether you type the name or IP box will appear asking for your username and password. We will write the IP address instead of the name. We will get the same result. We will write the username and password of the computer that we have configured.
after typing the username and password. Check the Remember Me box if you don't want to enter your password every time you use this account. Then click OK. You may receive a message saying that the identity of the remote computer cannot be verified. Check the box for, don't ask me again for connections to this computer, and click yes. The computer will connect directly to the other computer immediately, and we can control it completely. This tool will make you connect to your device remotely and control everything. At the top of the screen is a blue connection bar with various options, the buttons on the left side of the bar let you pin the bar and check the connection speed. Those on the right let you minimize the remote window to the taskbar, change the window size, and terminate the remote session. When you're finished, click the close icon to end the connection. Upon completion, a message will appear stating that the connection session has ended. Press the OK button to end the connection. The last part of the video, we will take a look at the settings of the remote desktop tool. You can tweak several of the tool's settings. Open the tool, and click on Show Options. General tab, save the settings for this remote session to an RDP file and then copy that file to another computer to transfer those settings. It will save it to the desktop, it is an abbreviation of the tool, to facilitate access, or if you want to copy and use it from another computer. Display tab, change the size of the remote window, and color depth, and other display settings. Local Resources tab, Configure Remote Audio Settings, choose when to apply Windows key combinations, and select which local resources you want to use during a remote session. Experiment tab, contains settings that help you manually adjust the connection speed, to control performance. Advanced tab, this helps you set the default action, for server authentication. This is all about, using the desktop remote tool, in Windows 10 Pro. In upcoming videos I will explain more details about this tool. Thank you for watching, and I hope to subscribe my channel, thank you.